So what's so prophetic about what just happened is that right after I saw these videos, because boredom strike, and um, I told y'all before that when boredom strike, sometimes I go on YouTube because I don't watch TV. I go on YouTube and I watch testimonies of hell. And so as I'm watching this one in particular, it's crazy how in alignment it is with my channel. And I'm going to just say it like that. I, you know, if you've been keeping track of my channel, you'll know that I've been talking about people speaking the word of God or really prophesying, but they're not speaking about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. You know, they're neglecting the spirit. They're not teaching people repentance. These people are going to be in hell and this is confirmation. So this is confirmation for everything I've been talking about pastors that are still gambling there's literally pastors gambling going to clubs there's um i'm gonna put the link to the full dream or visions or encounter whatever it was um glory to god and i confirmed it with the lord before i even made this video and he said this was real and i already knew because it's so uh, and it's so in alignment with my channel is speaking about tithing how people will go to hell because they did not tithe they did not sow back to the lord because that money that they have belongs to the lord and so it also spoke about bathing suits in the dream or vision or encounter it was speaking about people in underwear and they were prostituting their bodies and it just automatically hit me i made a video about how the lord sees bathing suits as draws and a bra and so those people will be in hell and they will be tortured and embarrassed with the same thing that they did on this earth. But I'm going to just drop the video in and that's it. It's just showing and proving that just because you believe in God does not mean you're going to go to heaven. And like I said, I'm not just sitting here making videos for nothing. The testimony or testimonies that you are about to hear are by Shining Moa. These testimonies are interpreted into English at her request. On Wednesday, August 31st, 2011, at 8 o'clock in the morning, the angel Gabriel came and took me to visit hell. It took us only a short moment, then we were in hell. When we got to hell, I heard a great number of men's voices. They were weeping. They were in pain and they were burning. They were weeping non-stop. They were weeping so hard and there was nothing that could help them. There were millions of men weeping with gnashing of teeth. These were men who were well known. I asked the angel Gabriel, Why are all these men here? The angel said, These men that you see are pastors. I asked Gabriel, Why are pastors in hell? Gabriel said, These pastors are here because they do not preach the truth. They do not preach the truth because they forbid the Holy Spirit. They don't preach about the Holy Spirit. They covered it up and refused to preach about the Holy Spirit. When they die, they come here. I say this to all of you, all of you believers and pastors. I really did see this part of hell. The angel Gabriel really did show me this. I'm not lying to you. I'm not saying this because I don't like you. If you have the Holy Spirit, Good for you. It is a great gift from God. If you have the Holy Spirit, you found the truth. I really did see these pastors in hell. I did not make this up. You may think, this is only a woman. Why is she saying all these things about pastors going to hell? Well, the word of God clearly says that teachers or pastors will receive a stricter judgment. After that, Gabriel and I went to the next place in hell. We saw a lot of people, but I did not see any children in that place. Those people were in pits of fire. I asked, why are there so many people here? And Gabriel said, all the people you see here are the ones who did not tithe. I asked him, why would a person go to hell just because they don't tithe? Gabriel said, your tithe belongs to God. If a person does not tithe, then they are stealing from God. The angel also said we have to give to God what belongs to him. Then we went on to the next place. This was the third place that I was shown. There were a lot of men burning in flames. I asked Gabriel, 
Why are there so many men here? He said, These men you see here are men who do business illegally. What the angel meant when he said that was that these men were selling drugs, and it was a particular type of drug. The angel said selling drugs is against the laws on earth, and when it comes to God, it is illegal as well. These men were weeping with gnashing of teeth, they were in pain, and it was very hot. There were so many sounds of crying and weeping, it was non stop, and no one could help them. It was horrible. There is no rest in hell, not even for a moment. It is very hot. It doesn't matter if you're in the United States or in other countries like Vietnam or China or Thailand. If you've been doing drugs or selling drugs, you must repent. If you don't repent, when you die, you will go to hell. And it will be worse than it was when you were alive. Your body will die, but your soul will be burned in torture for eternity. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, and you will not die again. You cannot die again. Even if you want to die in hell, you will not die. If you want to become alive again, you will not be able to. You will not die, and neither will you live again. It is non stop torment without rest. The unquenchable fire will burn you for eternity. I tell you that I really did go to hell and see all these things. That is why I am witnessing to you today that these things are real. If you've committed these sins, you need to repent. Pray to Jesus for Him to change you. We cannot change ourselves, but pray that our Savior Jesus Christ will save you and change you. I tell you, hell is horrible. Gabriel has taken me there, and I've seen those people. I've seen the people in hell face to face. I'm not trying to scare you, and I'm not lying to you. No, this is not so. I love all of you. I have seen hell. I went there in the spirit. Gabriel took me there in the spirit to see what life in hell would be like for our souls if we sin and don't repent. There is weeping and gnashing of teeth for eternity. Even if you want to come out, there is no way out. Even if you want the burning to stop for a moment, it does not stop. It is terrible and it is very hot. Nothing can compare to the torment in hell. After this, Gabriel took me to the fourth place. This is the place for people who have committed adultery. If you have committed adultery, you must repent and ask for forgiveness from Jesus. Ask Jesus to wash away your sins and sin no more. The angel Gabriel told me that those people were adulterers. When they die, their soul ends up in hell. In just a short moment, I saw the demons. The demons took what looked like red crayfish on earth, like the ones you would see at the restaurant. But these were not crayfish at all. The demons took these red creatures and used them to bite these people's bodies. And the creatures bit their whole body. The demons also took long snakes, and these snakes would wrap around the bodies of the people there, and the snakes would squeeze them really hard. Now these appear to look like snakes, but they were not snakes. They are actually fire. So when the snakes wrapped around the bodies of these people, they would burn them. And I tell you this that while the snakes wrapped themselves around these people there, there were snakes wrapped around me too. God had allowed this to happen to me so I can come back and tell you how hot it is. The pain I felt was burning pain. The snake squeezed me so tight and I felt terrible pain. When that happened, we all wept with gnashing of teeth. Not one person there can help the other. Not one person there can reach out their hand to help the other person. We were all on fire. It was extremely painful. We were thirsty for water. The pain was all over our bodies. At that time, I felt like I was going to die. I felt like I was dying. It was excruciating pain. If any one of you have committed adultery and you don't repent while you're still alive, when you die, you will go to hell. I tell you that the pain you will experience is real pain and it is burning pain. You will thirst for water, you will feel like you're going to die, and that you are dying but you cannot die. 
There is no rest in hell. It's like when you're still alive and you're gasping for breath because you cannot breathe. In hell, it is like that. I want you to know that I have been there. I have been to hell. I've been tested in hell. It is excruciating pain. It is burning pain. It's kind of like when you're still alive and you take your hand and put it in fire. But it is worse than that in hell. It is hotter. It is terrible. You feel like you're going to die and there is no rest. Not even for a minute. You feel like you're dying and your life is as thin as a thread. You can feel the pain right in your heart. It's bitter pain, excruciating pain. Nothing compares to this pain. After this, Gabriel took me to the fifth place. I saw a dark tunnel with a lot of men. I asked Gabriel, why are there so many men in this tunnel? Gabriel said, all the men you see here are deacons. These are the deacons in the church. I asked Gabriel why they are here. He said, when they are still alive and they are in church, they act like they believe in God. But when they are not in church, they gamble. They gamble by playing cards and they gamble with cockfights. So when they die, they come here. I could see those men burning in torment. Now, brothers and sisters, don't think that if you gamble that God does not see it. God sees everything that you do. If you participate in cockfights while you're still alive, when you die, you will go to hell. These deacons participated in cockfights with non-believers when they were still alive and they did not repent. So after they die, they came to this place. These were Christians who were not salt and light to the world. They did not live their life as an example for the rest of the world. We Christians need to ask God to help us with the things we are not able to do ourselves, the things we cannot change about ourselves, because hell is real, heaven is real, and I have also been to heaven. It is very beautiful. But just like Jesus said in Matthew 7, 14, the road is narrow. Everything I said in this CD is real. Jesus sent the angel Gabriel to take me to see these things so I can come back and tell people about it. These people I see being tormented are Christians, not to mention the non-believers. These are people who believed in God. So I say to all Christians, if you still go to the casino, if you go to the nightclubs, if you participate in cockfights, if you commit adultery, and you don't repent, don't think that you will go to heaven. If you have committed these sins, you need to confess your sins and repent. Surrender yourself and repent to God so He can change you. If you don't repent and you keep on sinning until the end, you may think that you will get to be with God, but you don't qualify to be with Jesus. You will regret forever. This is my testimony of how Jesus had sent the angel Gabriel to take me in the spirit to see hell. Again, I want to say to all of you that if you have committed these sins, you need to repent. If you don't repent, you will not make it to 